This is Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. I'm going to demonstrate how to activate unlimited health using Cheat Engine. You need to find the health variable. This is most easily found by having one of the profiles be set on easy and travel out from the start of the game. The health variable will take value 107-846-0416 and will remain at that level until you are hit. I do my first scan. After my first scan, there's only a few dozen results. Jump right. Jump. Left. Stop. Pause. Now I've been hit, that means my health variable has gone down. I select decreased value. And now I've only got three results. Sometimes you'll need to either get hit again or wait for your health to recharge um, and set it to increased value. I've generally found the real health value to be the middle one of the three. The first one tends to flip between zero and the actual value and I don't know why. And the one that's not the health and isn't flipping is for this yellow progress bar that just dynamically animates how much health you've lost. But assuming it's the middle one I set it to inactive, cancel, jump right, jump, jump, left, jump, right, stop. And so my health doesn't go down. Pause. Another way to check is to increase one of the numbers. Now I've found you should only increase the fourth or fifth digit. The ones after that don't increase it by enough, and the ones before that can increase it so much that you end up with negative health and die immediately. Wake up. Press 9. Go to sleep. So you briefly saw the yellow dynamic bar shrink down to what the actual health is. Press 9. Go to sleep. So here I've done it to the actual health, and it's gone beyond the maximum health. However you've detected it, check the box under Active, which makes it inactive. Now whenever you are hit, you will get knocked back, but your health won't go down. It is possible something could hit you hard enough to wipe out your entire health bar. And maybe that happens later in the game, but in the early stages it doesn't. This creates functionally unlimited health, but it's not invincibility, because spikes and falling into deep water will still kill you. Right. Stop. A fun side effect of having done this searching is that after you have first loaded a profile after booting up the game, the health variable is global, meaning this exact address is the health variable regardless of the difficulty you load. Down to. Yes. Yes. So here I'm on hard, and the number has changed. But I can paste in any other number, and I can set it to inactive as before. I haven't unlocked the other modes yet, but I suspect this will be the same variable for those as well. It is possible to find the maximum health variable, which would allow you to move this little border up to here. You can do this by knowing the health variable values at the start of easy, normal and hard, and switch between profiles. But it doesn't really offer much benefits over simply changing this value, or setting it inactive. This is the initial value that the health variable takes when you play on easy. Here is the initial on normal, initial on hard, and the value on easy after you get the first health upgrade. Now in case it's not really obvious, these are all part of the 65,536 times table. Dividing out by 65,536 gives these much nicer values. I don't know the value for zero, the point at which you die, but it's irrelevant. Once your variable isn't active, it doesn't really matter what it is, unless something is hard enough to hit it such that you go down to zero, in which case you can just increase the variable before you set it inactive. 
I also need the speed hack for slowing down the game for making very difficult jumps. I have control 1 to make it at 0.2 speed, control 2 makes it 0.4, control 3 makes it 0.6, control 4 makes it 0.8, and control 5 returns it to normal speed. So when I say 40% speed, it will press control 2 to send cheat engine to the correct speed, and then also set a value in voice attack to 0.4. This is relevant because when you jump in this game, you have to hold down a button for a certain amount of time, but if you slow down the game, it means you have to hold it down for longer. I calibrated my jump times according to 100% speed, and found 0.3 gave me the highest jump. So now, knowing that I'm going to change the speed, I first set it to 0.3, and then I divide it by the game speed. Then it presses down the jump key, waits however long this is, and then releases it. So if I'm at 20% speed, it will do 5 times this, and if I'm at 80% speed, it will do 1 and a bit times this, and so on. I need the slowdown to make jumps like these. Right 2. Right 1. 20% speed. Right 4. Right 5. Right 10. Jump. Jump right. Jump. Jump. Stop. Left. Jump. Stop. Right. Jump. Stop. Jump. Jump right. Stop. Jump right. Stop. Slash. 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 Forty percent speed. Jump right. Jump. Stop. Jump to right. Jump. Stop. Normal speed game. Falling into water kills me just as easily as the spikes, so that was quite perilous and I actually made the wrong command when I just jumped off that last canoe and I might have sunk. So yeah, game is still full of risk of death and the platforming is really annoying because I fall off platforms and misjudge them all the time. But so far, at easy mode, I've still been able to explore.